Yes, it's VTAC live from the Bucky House, and this hour, we're taking you to a galaxy a long time ago, and that is far, far away. We're going to Star Wars Galaxy, everyone. That's right, but we're not going to live there. We're just going to do a little field study. We're learning about Kylo Ren, that dark Sith Lord himself, descended from Vader, always making bad decisions. I want to know, what do you think Kylo Ren would do if he lived here on planet Earth? Give it up, me monkey dots for Aiden! Hey, Aiden, how you doing, buddy? Great. Great! So Mirabat, Mirabat in Massachusetts earlier said that Kylo Ren would totally be a litter bug. He'd eat his uh, Happy Meal and just throw the package out the window of the car. That's totally something Kylo Ren would do. What do you think, Aiden? What's something else Kylo Ren would do? Get a little girl calling me names like Cry Baby and saying I wouldn't be able to hold a lightsaber. Oh, so he played the mental game with you. Like, he, he tried to get in your head while you're doing your lightsaber training, learning how to wield a lightsaber like Luke and Rey and all the other Jedi Knights in training. Uh, he tried to get in your head and try to talk you out of it. Why do you think he would do that, Aiden? He's me. Yeah! Yeah, he is me, this Kylo Ren. <laughs> Oscar! My son Oscar, for the longest time, said that he was all about the, the dark side of the force. He liked Anakin, and he liked Kylo Ren. He wasn't all about the dark. He was really kind of flirting with that side of the force. But when you come down to it, Kylo Ren is just not nice. Like, would you want to invite Kylo Ren to your birthday party? No. What if, uh, what if, like, he promised that he was going to be good? Like, he, he's like, please, Aiden, please invite me to your birthday. I promise I'll be a really nice birthday celebrator. Would you trust him? No, I'll invite anybody else but him. Wait, anybody? You would invite anybody but Kylo Ren to your birthday? Let's well, go to the list. Let's go to the list here, Aiden. Would you invite Jar Jar Binks to your birthday instead of Kylo Ren? Probably. Okay. <laughs> All right, that checks out. Uh, what about, uh, let's see, who's somebody? Oh, Jabba the Hutt. Would you invite Jabba the Hutt to your birthday party? Um, this is a tough one. Wait, what, say that again? He would eat the cake. Yeah, he would eat all the cake. You, and he, or he would lick it with that disgusting tongue. Okay, well, we'll, we'll yeah. say maybe. <laughs> we'll say maybe on Jabba the Hutt. Okay, what about... Um, uh, okay, okay, oh, I got the perfect one. Okay, uh, in Star Wars A New Hope, the first movie, this is not a spoiler, but uh, 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 Luke and Han and Chewie and Leia, they all get trapped down in the garbage compactor, and there's this weird little snaky thing with an eyeball that's, like, swimming around in the water. Would you invite that thing to your birthday party, Aiden, or Kylo Ren? I'll keep them in a fishy thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So we invite the garbage compactor snaky eyeball thing, but keep it in a in a in an aquarium so that it won't bother anybody. Yeah. No, it's a pretty good solution. Well, uh, audience, I think that checks out. Aiden says Kylo Ren, mean name caller. So no birthday invite for you, Kylo Ren. Thanks for calling, Aiden.